Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Brownstone Kitchen. It's your girl, Paulette. I'm the owner and founder of brownstoneworldwide.com. That houses also KCCR Radio, the Brownstone, mybrownstoneliving.com, and Brownstone's Best Business Review. You guys, let's go ahead and get you guys centered because tonight, 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 guess what we are preparing? Something super simple after you get off from work that anyone can make and we're actually prepared how about that for a change okay so that we can go ahead and make a very simple chicken fajita bow tie pasta dinner that actually ends up in one pot so what i'm going to be doing is um walking you guys through some very simple steps that you can take usually a meal like this doesn't take long especially if you have everything already prepped so what you're going to need is chopped pieces of chicken. Now, you can use maybe something that's already bagged and frozen, or you can do what I did yesterday when I knew that I was going to be making this meal. I decided, let me go ahead and purchase some uh, chicken thighs because an entire packet of chicken thighs actually fed the family for Sunday, and then I had chicken thighs left over that I could chop up and make this a part of today's meal. So, we're going to need chopped chicken. We're going to need bow tie pasta, which I have. And I have my water boiling over here already. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our bow tie pasta in the water, which is already salted, by the way, right? So we don't want it to be too salty because we are going to be adding some additional spices to it. But the water was already boiling. So I wanted to make sure we went on ahead and got started with our mixture. So what I'm going to do, let me see if I can find a spoon. I'm going to start stirring this up so that our pasta doesn't stick. Now, here's something that you can do. Not only can you add a little bit of salt to the water, right, which is uh, just this here is a little extra sea salt. So you can see me do it. Ding, ding, ding. Right. OK. And then you can add a little bit of butter or olive oil. Um, in this case, I'm actually going to use my cruet, which has a touch of olive oil in it so that our um, our our uh, pasta does not stick all right we're also going to go ahead and start heating up our skillet here with our our cruet of uh, olive oil now you can use butter you can use whatever you want but i'm using olive oil that i keep over here uh just so that we can keep some of that heart healthy oil in the house all right so up next what we're going to be doing is um uh, taking our chicken thighs so i have some chicken thighs over here guys that i want to show you all uh, let me go ahead and stir this up just a little bit. This is not going to take long to cook at all because the water was already boiling, right? But what we are going to do in the meantime is we're going to prepare our chicken. And this is super simple, folks. All we're going to do is tear this with our hands. We're going to tear that apart because this was baked. And I put it in the refrigerator last night because I knew I was going to be preparing this particular meal. All right. Chicken thighs have a lot of fat, right? Which makes the meat really, really tender. It falls off the bone, as you can see. We seasoned it yesterday with brownstone blends, everyday blend. That's all we did. Now, that the skillet over here is cooking, or rather it's heating up, I'm not cooking the skillet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start, once it starts to smoke a little bit, I'm gonna add my uh, green bell peppers and I and my red bell peppers to that hot oil as it begins to cook. All right, and kind of heat up just a little bit over there. That's a better way of putting it. Now, um, what you can do is if you have any of the chicken skin or anything left, you can literally use this as a as a as a base for a good soup stock or chicken stock that you can prepare. Right, but all we're trying to do is get all of that chicken thigh goodness broken up. And it doesn't need to be broken up like and it can be in chunks right and i'm just doing it with my hands um this kind of makes it a little bit more fun and if other family members would be willing to be a part of this it would be so super cool so while i am doing this what i am going to um uh ask that you guys do is to head over to brownstoneworldwide.com because the actual recipe for this is over there i'm always looking for ways to make life easier for all of us and to help us, as I like to say, live the brownstone lifestyle. Because y'all, this chicken is hot. Let's talk about that just for a minute while I am uh, tearing this up with my hand. So I bought a package of chicken thighs 
because I really was going to use the pre-cut frozen chicken that was already cooked with the flavors on it already. It went, I used to pay for a bag of that. I used to pay like $5.98 or something like that. Y'all, it was $9.98. You might as well just say $10. Don't play with us. Don't play with us. We're not that stupid, y'all. I don't know why people think we crazy out here in the streets. I know what $10 looks like. And $9.98 is $10. I don't know about anybody else, but that's the way that I look at it. So basically what I'm doing is I'm continuing to tear up the chicken thighs. And I'm going to save the skin, which is seasoned, and the bones so that I can have this for a nice chicken stock later. Okay, we're going to also save some of this fat and, and provide it with some additional seasonings like some garlic and onion kind of give it additional flavor and then we can use it in soups and other things like that once it's frozen and I'll I'll actually probably do like a little quick you know snippet on a reel so that you guys can see that now we're down to our last uh, piece of chicken and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab Roger who is my cutting board <laughs> and he has on his beautiful face my peppers, my onions, and let me grab a paper towel because I'm full of grease. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and my granddaughter's school is in the middle of the floor. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and this skillet is ready. All right, and we're going to put our peppers and onions on it. So let me come over here and share with you guys what that looks like so you'll see for yourself. We got pre-cut. I actually cut it before I went live, y'all. Uh, Pre-cut peppers and onions. We're going to just go on ahead and put that right there. Y'all hear that? Sweet. Beautiful. I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. Yes. Y'all hear that singing? Okay. Now, here's what's fun is when you spill stuff and you make a mistake. So I have to toss it. I'm going to put that in that box. Now, if you notice, I also have some mozzarella cheese. But I'm also going to use some regular just old Parmesan, something that I might already have around the house or whatever. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and scoop this around just a little bit. So I'm scoop this around just a little bit right here. All right. And while our chicken um, has been cut and we are sautéing those vegetables, I am getting ready to place in this skillet the chicken that we just cut up or that we tore, okay? Because we're making, like I said, this is a chicken fajita bow tie pasta recipe, okay? Something really fun and quick and simple. Doesn't take a lot of time, y'all. I've been talking now for about eight minutes. And again, if you, if you, if you add in a factor in the fact that it probably took me about 10 minutes really to cut up these vegetables, not even really that long. So I don't know what just happened, but it looks like, uh, it looks like, let me see, which one is me? Let me see which one is me Remove. Okay, there you go. So we're back. We're back. We're back. That's what happens when you go live. Things can go screwy. Not sure what just happened. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of butter in my uh, pasta. And we're going to save that just so that we can have a little bit of that unstickiness. And then butter also, y'all, butter is like king. You know what I'm saying? Like butter is king. You don't want to use too much, but you definitely want to get some in there. Okay? I'm going to continue to stir that up. There you go. And I have my chicken that is cut up. 
So this is when it gets fun, y'all. I'm going to take my chicken and start placing it softly and slowly into these onions and these peppers. Y'all, look at this. I don't know what's happening or why I'm having such issues. Let me double check and see if I'm having issues. Um, okay, hang on, y'all. Hang on. Okay. All right. So, again, we are adding chicken to our lovely mixture here. And y'all, I'm sorry, but I don't know what's going on today. I don't know, I don't understand, but we're gonna keep on rolling with it. All right, so we're putting chunks of this beautiful chicken in um, our peppers and onions. And again, we're gonna save the uh, skin and the bones for a lovely mixture that we can use later for soup stock and stuff like that, okay? What you wanna try to do is try to figure out cool ways to um, Use everything that you have, especially in the economy that we're living in right now. Like I said, when I tell you that that chicken was $10 for a bag, it wasn't even like a full bag. Y'all know the frozen fajita strips? Yeah, uh-uh. So, no, I'll, I'll go ahead and make my own. I use that because I like the convenience of it, but uh, I learned how to create my own convenience at this point. I keep dropping. Uh, Y'all, I'm, ha I'm having a technical Full pod day today. I don't understand. But we're going to get through that too. Now, let's finish this up and get ready because I'm going to use some turmeric jerk on this just for a little kick. And that is from our brownstone blends. Um, this is our brownstone blends mixture, right? This comes with um, three other flavors. There's the everyday blend, the garlic, lemon, pepper, and we also have turmeric jerk. I'm going to put a touch of that in here. I'm actually going to take the top off because I need all the seasoning in here, okay? I'm going to put that over here into our mixture of the chicken thighs. Chicken thighs have the most flavor. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. That's going to be good. All right. Now, let me share with you something else that we're getting ready to put in here. You ready? In order for this to be five. Like my, my family says, we're going to put a little bit of chicken seasoning uh, fajita mix, original fajita mix. Let's go ahead and use that one. I would prefer that instead. All right, we're going to go ahead and put that in here. And this is going to be really good, y'all. Now, you can prepare this any way that you want, but this makes it super easy because it ends up being a one-pot meal, right? And when we're talking about a one-pot meal, we need something that is going to take us from the stove to the dining room table, the kitchen table, wherever you eat. So let's talk about that briefly while this chicken and stuff kind of cooks down a little bit. Uh, what I want you guys to understand is this week on brownstoneworldwide.com, we're literally talking about easy ways that you can get your family to start having dinner together. Um, and out now, here's something else. Don't overcook your pasta, folks. Don't overcook it. So I'm literally at the point where I can tell I'm almost at the point where this is getting ready to be a hot mess. And I don't want my pasta to be so soft that it is past al dente, which means to the teeth, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to stop the cooking process. And I'm going to get my strainer. Hang on, folks. I'm going to get my strainer. And we're going to strain we're going to strain our pasta, okay? And um, let me see, I'm going to do it in the sink, which will be better. Now, I know on one of my Facebook reels, y'all saw me do this. Um, you saw it in a demonstration of it. I'm not going to try it because I'll be the one to mess it up and it'll be on camera for all to see. So I'm literally just going to take my pasta, and I'm going to pour it into the strainer. Ah, 
There we go. Okay. We're just gonna run a little cold water on it. Stop some of the cooking process. Right? All right. And we're good. We are good. So we got our pasta ready. Hot, 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 hot. And we're gonna put it back into our pot. So we've got our bow tie pasta that is ready for us, okay? Now, the next step is, this is the easy part. Because everything else was super hard and all of that. That's the cutting of the vegetables, making sure that we have the chicken that was prepared. And we're going to go ahead and finish preparing our chicken here. All righty. And all we're doing, folks, is we are preparing and just cooking it. Because, y'all, most of this is already cooked, okay? So all we're making is like a fajita pasta kind of meal. You don't need um, tortillas or anything like that. You don't need it. And this is going to be so good, right? It's going to be so good because it's got all of those different flavors in there. Um, we have our, our, our chicken with the fajita sauce on it. We, we rock it and roll it. I'm going to put another packet of fajita sauce in there. And also some of um, our chicken taco mix to kind of give it an extra kick. I'll, I'll use that as well. Should I get it open? Can I get it open? Listen. Hold on. What is happening? What is going on? There we go. Okay. So. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to add some additional taco seasoning to it to give it that extra kick. Yes. We are popping over here, y'all. All right, now let's talk about a couple of things that are happening in the brownstone this week. Last week, most of you guys paid attention to, and first of all, let me just say thank you to all of the people who have donated to our pledge drive. We literally ran a pledge drive all weekend long, beginning the night of Cullen's Corner on Thursday of last week at 8 p.m. until today at 8 p.m. So you have a little window of time where you can actually go and pledge um, to donate to raise money for water for Jackson, Mississippi. So we're going to be following that story. We're actually working with an organization that's on the ground in Jackson, Mississippi right now to get that money to them so that they can get clean drinking water for the community at, at hand there. And uh, we're going to be doing some more pledge drives and fundraisers because it's our responsibility to tell and to be in control of the stories that are being told about us. And the one way that we do that is to get in front of what is happening on the ground to the best of our ability and what's made available to us and our resources. And the way that we do that is we reach out and we ask you all for that additional support. And so we definitely, definitely, big, big shout out to all of the people who gave, who cash apped, who said, hey, I really don't want to purchase that from you guys, but I'm going to give anyway because I know it's a great cause. We want to thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're going to be doing this again. It's our responsibility to take care of our communities, right? So that's what we're doing. All right, now, let's go ahead and finish up this. We got that the fajitas popping over here with the bow tie pasta. We're getting ready to mix it all in there together. I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat off. Okay. And we're good to go. We're done. That's it. Boom. Easy peasy. That's it. That's all we got to do. There is no room for anything else. No ma'am, no sir, you do not need a tortilla to go with this because you have your bow tie pasta that you're going to eat this with. Now, we're going to marry both of these together. That's the easy part, okay? So we're just gonna take our chicken and put it directly into that bow tie pasta. I got some on my stove and that's okay. We're gonna take that and put that in there too. Again, onions, big chunks of peppers, and that bow tie pasta in there together. We're going to go ahead and just put the rest of that directly into our pot. Oh, my God. Now, how do you eat this? That's the question, right? With a whole lot of cheese, okay? That's how you do this. <laughs> so, you get an opportunity to get you some good cheese in there. All right washing this sucker for days. I'm going to go ahead and put this in some water. Now we can start soaking now. All right. And we
we are going to mix up. Oh, we have a little pepper over here. Hang on. A little red pepper. So listen, y'all. Check this out. That's all you're doing. You see that? That's all I'm doing. I'm done. It's th The recipe is done. It is done. 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 Okay? That's all you got to do. You're going to mix that pasta up in there. You see that? You got chicken. You got pasta. You have fajita flavoring. You have brownstones blends, uh, turmeric jerk that is a part of this particular recipe. You got your bow tie pasta al dente. You got a little butter in there. You got some onions. You got your red peppers and your green peppers. You don't need any tortillas. If you want to add a side salad to it, I would encourage you to do so. If you don't want it, you got plenty of vegetables in there to hold you down. Okay. And um, that's it. That's that's the recipe right here. We're done. We are done. And guess what, folks? Your family can eat off of this for days. Now, let's talk about what's coming up for the brownstone this week. Okay. Now, number one, we have several different shows that are happening this week. If you miss the day shift this morning, I would encourage you to check out Wednesday's day shift and also the day shift on Friday as well. We're also going to be preparing what we call a cowboy stew. You guys don't want to miss that. It's a super easy recipe that anybody can do. We're going to be sharing with you on our Facebook Reels and all throughout brownstoneworldwide.com exactly how you can do some of these recipes, okay? So there will be recipe cards available for you. And I'm going to go ahead and put this at the top of the screen because I want y'all to get it, get it, get it. Head on over to mybrownstoneliving.com and purchase your very own Brownstones Blends Starter Pack. Did you get that? You got that? Hope you did. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the top of the screen so you can check it out for yourself. Um, it is called the Brownstone Living Pack, okay? That is your starter pack. It comes with four different seasonings. It is the everyday blend. You also have turmeric jerk. You also have the garlic, lemon, pepper, and you have cinnamon, nutmeg, and sugar blend that is a part of this. Do you see how pretty that is? Not only that, but it also comes with, you ready? It comes with your very own kitchen towel set and four recipe cards. Head on over to mybrownstoneliving.com and get yours today. You will not be disappointed. And shout out to all of the people who have ordered Thank you so much. And big, big shout out to georgiagiftsandmore.com for actually holding some of our product in their physical stores and online. So once again, once again, for this Monday evening, you guys, we are done. It didn't even take us a whole 30 minutes to get this finished. And we are complete with, you guessed it, once again, we have bow tie pasta and chicken with our fajita flavoring in here. We got our bread green peppers, our red peppers, our onions. We're good to go. The family can eat off of this for several days if they choose, or you can take some for lunch for you tomorrow. Doesn't matter. Either way, it's something that you made in your kitchen. You're not eating out. You're saving more money, and you're able to spend additional time with your family, which is one of the things that is one of our hot topics for this week, and we're going to be talking about that on brownstoneworldwide.com. You can definitely check that out and see for yourself how many ways that you can literally spend more time with your family around the dinner table. Everybody should be doing it. It's a great way to connect. Turn off the phones. Everybody hold a conversation. Find out how each day went with each other and have some fun along the way. Guess what else is coming up this week? This Wednesday, Francisco Dean was interviewed and you guys are going to be able to see it at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. He is the owner and founder of Pro Snap Booth. He's going to tell the good, the bad, and the ugly on Brownstone's Best Business Review. You guys, you don't want to miss it. His story is inspiring. Uh, we had an opportunity to sit down and to talk in depth about what it was like for him to take a leap of faith and purchase that first piece of equipment. And now he literally is event planning all over Atlanta, Georgia, uh, to some of the biggest entertainers in the music industry and entertainment industry overall. So we're super proud of him and we're glad that he's a part of the Brownstone family. So up next, Cullen's Corner, Thursday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You don't want to miss it again. More tips, topics, and talk all week long. And don't forget, come and hang out with me Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Where? On the day shift, right? So Wednesday morning, you guys are going to get an opportunity to hang out with me. In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, share, join Brownstone's Best, 
get in there and start those conversations that we want you guys to have and get ready, get ready, get ready, because in quarter four, we've got some summits that you don't want to miss. We've got some new shows that are coming your way. One, Nicole Johnson with Your Money Matters actually starts September 26th, next week, Monday. You don't want to miss that live on KCCR Radio, The Brownstone, and also brownstoneworldwide.com. We're really, really excited to have her under the fold. And don't forget, Marshawn Melanio with her show, Love Restored, every Monday night at 8 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Once again, brownstoneworldwide.com and also BWTV on brownstoneworldwide.com. Listen, you guys, it's my time. It's time for me to roll up out of here. Here's what I want you to do. Three things. Don't you forget. Are you ready? One, love your life. It is the only one that you have. Two, live your life to the fullest and enjoy every single moment. And lastly, breathe through every single moment. I will see you on another edition of Tips, Topics, and Talk. Have a great night.